Hello Taurus, how are you guys doing? This is your love reading from the 15th and the 21st of July 2020. Um, this reading, um, I just actually made it the spread for you guys and I wanted to look really in depth at what's going on with the love life, okay, with your guys' love life, with your person, how they think, what they want, blah, 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 all these things. So let's get into it. There's also going to be an extender to this reading where I'm going to be checking in to see the actual future outcome of what is going to happen here. But right now, if this is your reading, trust me, it is general. If it is your reading, you will know almost from the first two cards that come out. I am doing it a little bit differently, so we will see. I like you know by now. You know I like to do stuff differently if you've been here before. Um, there's also going to be a spirit guide message. Whoa, a card has shown itself. We're going there. There's going to be a spirit guide message as well at the end of the reading. Advice to you guys, okay? from their perspective, your spirit guides. So Taurus the spirit guides, please let's get started with this reading, please. If you're wondering what I was burning, I always burn herbs to call in your spirit guides. Okay, past energy is the empress. This has been somebody, this is going to be very specific maybe for some of you, but this can be a person that you've been living with or married to, or is a mother or father of your children. This is an already an established relationship. So if you're dealing with somebody that is very, very new, because this is already in the past energy, I may not be your reading, but stick around because some aspects may, may come through. Um, but I'm picking up this as a relationship. It's been good. It's been good in the past. This is a stable connection. That is the home, that is the love, that is the children, that is the growth, the security. It's all there. The Empress is a beautiful energy to have actually come out in a reading like this. So Taurus, hello. Let's see what's going on presently with regards to this um, connection with this person. This could be your the mother or father of your children, I'm just saying. Because we are looking at past energy. So uh, let's hope it's as beautiful as the... The present is as beautiful as the past. Aha, we've got a sun card that has come out. It's in the reverse energy. We've got two cards that have come out. OMJ, OMJ, I just saw what was on the bottom. They want to show us both these cards. You've got the three of swords with the sun card. This is gonna be in the same position. We're gonna use this as present energy because obviously there's been a glitch in reality over here. Um, I do do reverse energies as well as upright energies. I think I saw someone commenting um, on my phone as I was like driving my car. I was like, you know how naughty we are when we check our phones, we shouldn't do that. Um, I saw a comment coming up and it was like, I see you do reverse energies. I'm like, yeah, I do reverse energies. It's how I learned the cards. It's how I read them. It's much more in-depth. It can tell you so much more information. Um, but it's up to the reader, actually. So what on earth is going on here? Because now... It's like with the sun card coming out here, you got to rethink everything. You have to re-look at this Empress energy in the past completely because something has changed. With the Three of Swords energy being there, this person, your person, may have actually cheated on you. I don't like doing these kinds of readings where there's cheating and all that because I just feel like it's so overdone and people sometimes take advantage of, like, even fellow tarot readers i'm just saying they can it's like clickbait and it's not always the case but in very really i think i can get something like this maybe not even once a month but this one comes through pretty strongly so i've got to kind of go that way because it does happen um i think this person that you've been living with this person that maybe your, your partner mother father of your child has gone out there and done something they should not have done they've gotten involved with another person currently um, this has caused, like, I don't think you've broken up with him. I don't think you know what to do. The sun card is there. It is in the reverse position. It's like needing to stop and look at it now. It's almost like your world got a bit shattered here with the sun card coming out in the reverse position because it's like I thought I was here in this empress and I'm finding out about this or I'm suspecting about this. And now it's like my whole world just got rearranged and it's just got like what is going on here is this my existence is this what's happening with me it's like it's making you look at it's like you were living in, in a home with this person and you wake up every day you got your routine the kids go to if they go to school in lockdown i don't know but you know previously everything has got its place and then in a moment you found out about something with that three of swords being there and you woke up in the same house but absolutely everything has changed Everything has changed. What do you do now? 
with the sun card being there. That is like needing to reevaluate your complete position in life. Oh, that is not so good. Let's have a look at your person right now and see what thoughts they have. And the card just flips, so I'm taking it. Right now, they're being so overly defensive. They're trying to protect themselves. Can Well, duh. I mean, if they went out and cheated and you found out about it, of course they're trying to protect themselves. But the thing is, what are they trying to protect? Are they trying to protect the truth from getting to you? Hide it? Because is this person hiding something? Look how they're standing on top of two pentacles there. Their feet on top of it and they're holding this uh, pentacle very close to their chest. They could be covering up here, trying to make, uh, no, this is not at all, this is just a friend, no, 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 somebody took my phone, you know, all funny, funny stuff that people say. But the problem is they're not noticing that there's one pentacle right on top of their head here and it's like, um, I've got facts, I've got proof that this is going on and you keep on saying it's not going on but I've got the proof. They're being very, very defensive right now. Wow. Um, I wonder what, let's see the next card. What do they think about you right now? What are they thinking about you, spirit guides? What are they thinking about Taurus? Let's have a look and see. Oh boy. <laughs> wow. This person scared of you. <laughs> um, the high priestess has come out. Do you know what they're thinking? They're sitting here going, how did Taurus find this out? Taurus has psychic powers. Hello. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The thing is the high priestess knows. The high priestess has a suspicion. The high priestess smelled a wreck. You know what I'm saying? And then the high priestess said, something's going on here. Something is being hidden from me. I got the vibes. And they know you got the vibes. And you finding out information, the high priestess always starts asking more questions. Always starts going, there's something fishy here. I'm going to find out. They know that you're suspecting. They know that you have been suspecting. They know you are the high priestess. Oh boy. <laughs> People always want to be married to like the, the spiritual high priestess person, male or female energy. And when they get there, they wish they didn't. Because those are the people that... Trust the, I mean, if you guys are here watching a tarot reading, you're really leaning towards the esoteric side of life. You know what I mean? With the high priestess being there, I'm just putting it out there for some of you, Taurus. Some of you may be witches. I'm just saying some of you may be on spiritual paths. Some of you may be practicing, um, like I said, some esoteric stuff, you know, and that, that person is aware of that. I mean, like I said, you know, everybody wants to be with somebody spiritual. I am a witch, you know what I mean? So everybody's like, oh, I want to be with a witch. Be? When you get there and you're actually dealing with a witch, all of a sudden you're going to defend yourself. You're like, oh boy, what have I done? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that you may be on that path. Hey, by the way, it could make them get worried. Like, oh boy, how did they know? They know. Let's have a look at what is going on here. How are they feeling? They don't want to stay in the stressful situation any longer. It doesn't mean that they want to leave you, but they don't like this. They don't like what is happening here. It's so funny with this person because this is their energy. They're like, I just want this to stop. I just want this to stop. This is too much. I cannot carry this at all. I want this to stop. I want them to trust me. I want them not to ask questions. I just want this whole scenario to anchor breaks. But now i got to ask. I'm just going to have a sip of water. My throat is so dry. i got to ask, right? Um, why on earth get into the situation in the first place? Why do this in the first place? We do things that is pretty stupid. Not me. I don't do, I sound, I don't do stupid things. I'm just saying. And we don't do stupid things because, you know, you're the high priestess energy. But this person of yours and other people sometimes can do stupid things. And then when they got to lay in the bed that they made, you know what I'm saying? They don't like it anymore. And they just want the hard times to stop. But they're not looking at what they're putting you through. It's all about, remember, this is pretty selfish now. Because if this person has done the three of swords to you, and now all of a sudden it's like, oh no, I just want this pain to go away. They're not even considering the three swords that they've done, which is in this high priestess's heart, which is in that empress's heart. Um, they're just thinking about their own feelings still. And it's because they're thinking only about their own feelings that has let them get it into the situation in the first place because they're not considering anyone else's feelings. I'm just saying. 
Okay, so let's have a look at what it is they want to happen right now. <laughs> I can imagine what they want to happen. They want everything just to be fine. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Oh, they want to walk away from all that stress over there. They don't want this to stay like this. They, they want things to get fixed with the Three of Wands being there. Let me tell you something. A person that has got Three of Wands energy, um, they just want this to go away, okay? They want this problem that they created just to disappear. They also want you to forgive them. I'm just saying. But the thing is, what I'm picking up from them with the Four of Wands, they're not owning up to this. You can come here with video evidence, I'm just saying. And they're going to tell you it was photoshopped. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was not me. It's my long lost twin brother or sister. You know what I mean? They do not want to own up to what you know is true. Okay? They want this stress that's over here just to disappear into the sunset literally and they don't want this to to you know to be on their shoulder they don't want to take the blame as well i'm just saying you know they they don't want to take the blame they don't want to own up to what they're doing but they also want this problem just to go away they want you to be the one to forgive them they're not willing to take responsibility over there with the three of wands energy i don't know about that that's a bit of a worry for me because the thing is if we don't take responsibility and apologize or even own up for our own behavior we are doomed maybe to repeat that behavior in the future i'm just saying because it's like you know when you don't make your child um get punished for naughty behavior you kind of like let them off the hook you're going to see a worse situation in the future they never paid the price you see they never learned anything um what is it right now spirit guides that taurus should know about this person right now what do you need to know about this person the Queen of Wands energy, I'm not surprised. Ah, oh, Lordy. Queen of Wands energy, this is part of their personality. <laughs> this behavior, this is how they are. Okay. It's funny because you can actually handle this, you know. Queen of Wands, that is the card that comes out for good looking, um, charismatic, charming, likes to be around a lot of people, with the Queen of Wands being there, fiery. Um, personality uh, they got the one there it can be a fire sign as well that you're dealing with they enjoy attention from people they enjoy being the center of attention in a group of people um, they can flirt oh they can flirt and I think I don't know if this flirtation has gotten them into a little bit of a situation um, they could have went too far they also enjoy attention from other people just be aware this is their personality that's what you need to know about them. Maybe that's what attracted you to them in the first place because you were, you know, the one giving them that attention and you were getting the attention back from them. That's a nice place to be in with a person who is queen of wands, male or female energy. Um, but let me tell you, sometimes the ones, for me, they a little bit got problems with commitment. You know what I mean? They're very free and easy. You know, at least the king of wands here. But sometimes that one worries me just a little bit because they can be a little bit flirty out there. I'm just saying. I don't know. I would, I would kill my partner if I find... And yeah, I don't know. I would kill somebody if I was with them and I find them flirting with another person. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm just saying. Let's have a look and see. What advice do you have right now? With regards to the situation well are you joking the fool card <clears throat> it's like advice is you can decide two different things here you can decide to move on and see i kind of like feel it's like saying kind of like move on with this person but it's up to you at the end of the day especially with the fool card the fool card is not kind of like saying one thing or another thing it's kind of like saying Almost like whatever decision you are going to make, it's going to have an unknown outcome. But there's really nothing that you can do because the situation has already happened. It's not like you can go back in time and change this or delete this as they wish they could do. They wish they could just delete this whole episode like it never happened. I feel like deleting 2020. I keep on telling everyone, let's just pretend 2020 never happened. And on the 1st of January, it's actually 1st January 2020. And we'll erase it from history. Yeah, so we can start again. That's what they want. They want to start again. Um, they want this to carry on. They want to carry on with you. But the decision for you is, do I? Do I 
carry on with this queen of wands if they're male or female, it doesn't matter, it's just the kind of energy that they are. Do I move forward with this relationship? You guys may already be in a quite a strong relationship and I don't even know what this person's gonna do. I don't even know if they're gonna repeat this again. I don't even know if I can handle being with them if they've cheated on me, how am I gonna feel? Because you know, we it's not always about the other person, sometimes it's about how you're gonna feel. The thing is, we don't know internally how this affects us. As you, you might find five years down the line, you hate this person because of what they did. And you might find, I can forgive them, but you don't know if you can. So this is the full card energy. This is like, it's kind of like needing to go into it and uh, try, not really knowing what's going to happen. So you may, may have to move forward with them, if, especially if it's a much stronger connection, not really knowing. But if you... No, because I still see the High Priestess being there. The High Priestess right now, I feel like you're there. I feel like you came from the Empress energy, but this person has awoken the High Priestess in you. And let me tell you something, if you feel like you cannot stay here with this kind of person, then you may have to also walk away with the full card being there and move into a future um, that is also unknown. And that you are also alone and that you may have to just go into the future without them. It, it all depends on how you are leaning. Are you leaning towards, because if you, I'm looking at this and I'm looking at this energy of the high priestess. It's going to be different for different ones of you. If you look at the high priestess, she's actually sitting between two pillars. One has got the darkness to it. One has got the light. I don't feel like there's light or dark in the situation. It just is what it is. It's more like what are you willing to do? Do I walk away? Do I stay? What do I do? I have to make a decision here. So it's more the high priestess is going to feel more to do with her intuition or his intuition because that can be a male energy as well uh, with regards to what to do. And it's got to sit right with the high priestess. It can't be something that you're compromising for another person. If it doesn't sit with you, you're going to have to walk away. If you feel you can try again, then you're going to have to try again. That is the full card energy. Let's have a look and get your spirit guides message to you. Um, they've shown me that card very quickly. I'm not surprised your reading has been kind of like that. So let's see what is the full card. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm just saying. They come up with the lover's card. You must be joking. Mm -hmm. This is a soulmate connection, guys. I don't know what else to say. You and this person have been lovers. You and this person have been together. Um, this is a soulmate connection. I know what you're thinking. If you don't want to be with this person and you're going, why are they showing me this, the lover's card? I'm like going, I don't know. Okay. They're letting you know this is a lover's connection. Even if you walk away, I'm just saying, you may end up back with this person. I'm just putting that out there for you. Um, if you are going to try it again, you got a lot of luck on your side here. You got a lot of protection as well. Because when I'm looking at this lover's card here, remember if you're on a spiritual journey, it's very interesting. You got um it's interesting, you got an angel energy here. It kind of reminds me of the high priestess. I have to just tell you, Taurus, if you are on a spiritual journey, if you are connecting, you know, you are doing something, whatever it may be, it can be anything, it can be, you know, you going into Buddhism or you're just meditating or you're learning more esoteric work or some of you I picked up you could be witches I'm just saying um I can feel a witch I'm just saying because I am one okay I'm just letting you know so the thing is you have got some guidance coming in for you that is where you've been getting the information from this guidance that is coming in, it feels like Ascended Masters. It feels like angel energy, higher energy. Look at this. Um, if you do decide to, you know, with a full card to continue in this connection, they can actually protect you um, during this time. They want you to keep on listening to them. They have already been advising you. I don't know if you know that. Um, the information that you get sometimes is what scares this person. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I like this reading. I'm just saying, I don't like the reading because of that, but I like what I'm seeing over here inside of you. I like the person that you are becoming, the person that you're not becoming, the person that you realize you are. Okay. Um, very strong. You scaring your person. 
I'm just saying, scaring your person a little bit over there. Um, the high priestess has got guidance from otherworldly beings. These are higher energies. These are angel energies. These are ascended mastered energies. You are being protected. I'm just letting you know. Um, if you do continue in this connection with this person, just know that you've got unbelievable backing over here with regards to what's going to happen. I think even if things do not work out in the future, you'll be so held and protected. You'll be just taken to a safe place. You know what I mean? It's like you, you're on a road. Even if the road involves traveling it with this person and leaving it in the future, you're still being protected. Even if this road involves traveling with this person and it actually works out, it's the angels that are protecting you on this journey. This is very beautiful. Um, I think whatever decision you do decide to make, you got the backing of the angels. They are telling you, if you do decide the full card is looking towards the lovers, if you do decide to go towards the lovers energy, you will be protected on that journey by them. And they are advising you. Listen to that advice. One of the things I'm going to tell you, because I saw the high priestess being there, um, I am clear audience, so I can hear them. Uh, as you, it's not like in your ears, it's actually more in your head. Um, sometimes a sentence gets said or a word gets said, and then it can sometimes cause an image to come from there. I'm telling you because of the high priestess, okay? And um, one of the first things that you can pick up on, which is happening to me right now, very strong because I'm talking about it because I've paid attention to it, is the sound in your ears. If you start to hear, especially when you get quiet, when you start to meditate or you start thinking deeply, you start to hear like uh, static electricity. It's very difficult to pick it up, pick up on it. And if you do pick up on it, it's because you are beginning to pick up on their energy. It's almost like the static of a radio. It's like, shh, you know, it happens in your ears. And it can change pitch to different sounds and different heights at that point in time when you get that static electricity sound. The information and the thoughts that you're thinking are not yours. They are coming from higher realms. You are being guided and being shown the right direction all the way. So you are safe, I think, no matter what you do. There we go, Taurus. I'm crazy about your reading. I love it a lot. I'm wishing you all the best of luck. Thank you for watching. Bye.